So we just did a short hike here at uh, Elm Creek, not too long. But we're not going to make it out camping this month because it's a little too hot. So I just figured I'd take this time to show you a couple board games that we bring along on the trail that are kind of small and compact that are pretty fun. First up will be Hive, which is kind of akin to chess. It's one of those strategy placement games. Uh, plays kind of like chess, but a little bit different. Next one up is Fox in the Forest. This is a trick-taking game. This is similar to Hearts, um, but it has a little bit of a variant in there. And then lastly is a game called Deep Sea Adventures, and it's a push-your-luck game. And each of these games are super tiny, small. You can actually, if you choose not to take the boxes or the packs, you can just bring the little pieces that are in there with you rather than carrying these heavy boxes. So we'll take a look at them one by one. Hive is a nice travel game we take and it's very similar to chess and how you play it. The difference is you have all these bugs and they each have different rules from like hopping over opponents to running around to just, you know, moving three spaces. The general goal is that you want to try to surround your opponent's B player. The game of Hive begins with you placing placing a tile and your opponent placing a tile. You build out on each of your tiles until eventually you place a queen bee which is indicated by the golden bee here. Now the, the point of the game is to surround your opponent's queen bee. Um, there's one rule in hive though, you cannot break the hive. You cannot break the chain. So this is kind of a fun little chess game where your pieces have different types of movements, different ways on how they can interact and it's a only two player game and it plays relatively quick within 15 minutes and that's it. Alright so if you're like me you like a trick taken game. Think Euchre or Hearts. The Fox in the Force is a really good option when you want to play with just two players and it's a relatively small box. So you flip over the top card here and it's not your normal clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. They're different symbols such as a key, you know like the chess piece, or the moon, and there's only three different suits. They're all different colors and they're easy to identify. So if we were starting this game, the key, anything color key would be the trump suit, so to speak, and then we take turns playing cards. And it plays very similar to hearts, so I'd have to play a trump card of that same suit if I had it, and I would play it. What makes Fox in the Forest different than the game of hearts is certain cards have select special abilities which will change up how you can take a trick or how you can manipulate other tricks. So it's relatively easy to go through there. And it just it's a nice little variant on hearts. It's only 33 cards instead of a 52 card thing. And all you need to do to take this with is just bring these 33 cards and you can play this game anywhere. Deep Sea Adventure. The premise of this game is you're on a submarine with your friends, but you're all a little bit poor, so you have to share the oxygen as you go treasure hunting. So this is how the board's set up with different colors as you go deeper and deeper into the sea, and all these represent treasures. You have your little meeples up here, and you can play up to six people for this. How you play is you roll the dice, and then you move your character that many pieces. Now when you do that, you can decide if you want to pick up this treasure or not, or you can go deeper and see what you can get down here. As you go down, the numbers get larger and larger from like 1 to 3 to like 15. But the catch is, is when you have a bunch of players out, and if they pick up treasure, they're going to start using up oxygen. And you need to make sure you can roll and get back to the sub soon enough before that oxygen runs out and you lose all your treasure to the bottom of the sea. And the dice is range from a value of one, two, and three. And you roll two of them, so the max you can get is a total of six. The least you can get is a total of two. It's a nice light game that you can bring with anywhere. It's got a great hard box, and you can even roll the dice in the box if you'd like to keep everything contained. It has a little bit more pieces, so it is a little bit more fiddly. It might work better on somewhere where you have a picnic table, but you can also play it out on the ground, which is just fine. And it's a really new fun addition for us. All of these are nice and small, lightweight, that we can pack with us. And if we don't want to take the boxes, we just take the components in a little plastic bag, and then we have some entertainment while we're out hiking on the trails. Mm -hmm.